Today's video, we're going to be going over the sale concept out of the tight slots halfback weak formation. The play we're going to be taking a look at is play flood. Now, this play is going to be uh, in the Bengals playbook. If you want to run our brand new Bears offensive ebook, we have both versions of the tight slots broken down in the Patreon. The cool part about the Bears ebook is it has um, a bunch strong offset feature, which is really a great formation in this game. So you can actually hot route this play if you have Hot Route Master. All we're going to do is just basically call, we're calling this play primarily for the corner route to the slot receiver. And when you're running the sale concept in general, what we're trying to accomplish is we're trying to attack one specific sideline. And in this example, we're going to be trying to attack this left sideline. So what we're going to do is we're going to streak the outside left receiver. We're going to corner route if we don't have the ability to use Hot Route Master or whatever. Um, you know, you have the flood corner, but if you could have Hot Route Master, you can use a, a Hot Route Master corner route. And then uh, with the backside stuff, it's really kind of honestly up to you. One of my favorite, uh, my favorite uh, kind of like glitchy adjustments to do is to run the running back in motion and run a zig and an in, in backside dig. I think this is a pretty underrated version um, in, in, and really a great version of flood because you're able to uh, attack the whole field. Okay. So anyways, uh, real quick, if it is main coverage, oftentimes if they don't have safety help and they're pressing you, that streak is going to get wide open over the top of the defense. So that is something you want to look at first is if they're giving that to you, you always want to be able to take what the defense gives you. Now, another thing that I think is really underrated because of the rise of double Mabel is using a backside curl. Because a lot of people are running double Mabel right now, which we'll get to in a second. But if they're off coverage, man, a lot of times this corner route will be pretty consistent against backed off man coverage. Really, the only thing that stops the corner route against man is typically a press man coverage concept. And if they do that, then they're going to be vulnerable over here on the right. If you look at this curl, you see right when he right when he cuts to the inside, we can throw that and possession catch that. Again, they have to have safety help. So because they have to have safety help over the top, if they're going to play press, then the other thing that we have um, is we can actually put the running do kind of a little underneath mesh and kind of create a concept like this where the underneath routes can be kind of also options for us against main coverage. Okay. So a couple different options in terms of how you want to run this. Last thing that I did want to say about this, if you are really worried about main coverage, one of my favorite things is we're going to motion this guy out to the left side on that slot apprentice post. That motion out is going to give him pretty good spacing for this play. And you'll see when he cuts to the inside, he'll be open. You can also put him on a smart routed in route and it will kind of essentially get to the same result. Okay. But the main purpose of flood, honestly, we're going to use this to attack zone coverage and really the baseline press cover four. This is going to do a really good job of attacking. So baseline press cover four drop. And first things we're going to look to the flat and then we're going to look to the corner. This corner route is super effective because it match coverage really struggles to defend this corner route from compression. It's really the best. It's by far the best corner out from compression in the game. And as you can see right there, cover four is not going to have a chance to cover it. Cover three, uh, same basic thing is going to happen. Please notice that we're running this with the corner out to the short side of the field. When you run this, when you're trying to attack baseline press cover four, cover three, you really want to do that through the short side of the field. So what this is going to do is it's going to cause them to go to cover two. Now, there's two different types of cover two that you're going to see. One of them is going to try to take advantage, if you will, of these vertical hooks matching. What's really cool about this play is vertical hooks typically will match this corner route. However, they won't match it from tight slots. You'll see that vertical hook will never match him. And this is going to be wide open. And it doesn't matter that there's a cloud flat. If that cloud flat is pressed, they're not going to be able to stop that route. So what we're doing is we're forcing them into a very specific series of adjustments that they are going to have to do. So they're going to essentially, when we play, um, when we come out in tight slots, they are going to have to have a backed off 30 yard uh, cloud flat. So now they have a backed off cloud flat. What we can also do is we have our running back to the flat. We can check down to him and that is going to force them to now have an underneath zone drop to be able to counter that as well. This is where we kind of get into a really, really, the really powerful uh, things of this money play here. So we're going to go ahead and drop this guy into that hard flat over there, uh, the five yard curl flat to take that away. And then we're going to use this guy over the middle to try to take away this post. And I want you to watch the tight end on the play. You're going to see this tight end comes wide open right in that little pocket. It's one of the most high level reads on this play. And it's truly what makes this play basically unstoppable because even though they can stop the flats, 
they can't stop the underneath stuff that we can do. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to drop this defender into a hook curl. And then again, they're going to have to use her this, uh, this post route. So this is really the best sequence of adjustments they can make. But when you think about this motion out right here, this is also really critical because now they have to devote every little bit of their user over there. And you see there's these little pockets that we can uh, check down to this tight end route. Now, if you are in the Bengals playbook and you are running this play, you have a little bit of an advantage over the Bears in the fact that we have this deep skinny post. Please notice that I'm running this defense out of a cover, um, out of a cover two style coverage shell. Most people will put this guy in a deep third to take away any kind of deep post. So if they have that guy in an underneath yellow zone, then what we can do is we can motion this guy out on a comeback. We're going to put everything else looks fairly similar. But now with this motion out comeback or C route, this post route can now split the cover two and be a potential one play touchdown against people that are trying to do that defensive tactic on you. Overall, guys, flood and in general, the sale concept in Madden every single year is super important to have in your arsenal because it allows you to really attack whichever sideline uh, the corner route is going to. And then off of that, it's going to open up a lot of other things as Troy Aikman throws an absolute laser <laughs> to Jamar Chase to end the video. Guys, thanks for watching. If you want to learn exactly how I run my offense and defense in Madden 24, we have a ton of different versions of both on our patreon page by being a member you'll get access to both of them for just 10 bucks you can sign up uh, by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below